One of the great stories of Speed Weeks 2002, Dave Marcus trying to qualify for the Daytona 500, what will be his last race as a driver. 60 years old, his first race, this one back in 1968. <laughs> and man, how about that number? <laughs> 16 of drivers were not even born yet when Marcus qualified for the first his first Daytona 500. Dave running a very modest racing operation out of the Asheville, North Carolina area. Still to this day, especially compared to most of these behemoth factories with hundreds of employees that Winston Cup teams have become. Call the shop, they drag him out from under a race car to answer the phone if he doesn't answer it himself. Not a bad first lap. A 49.732. If he can pick up a half second, he'll get down around... Oh, 10th or 11th someplace. And this speed that you see, Marcus is plus four. He's in the red. He's almost a half second slower than the pole speed. But again, that pole speed was a 48.43. So he's going to be about a 49 flat, looks like. Dave, without really a good position in points to fall back on from last season. So he needs this time trial lap in case something goes wrong Thursday in the qualifying races to try and get into the Daytona 500. It's a great qualifying lap. 49.111 seconds, 183.26 miles per hour. Hey, here's Dave. I haven't seen him in a while, but I'll bet we can find him. All right. Dave! Speaking of 10th, Dave Marcus is 10th fastest. You, you lie. <laughs> Help me out here, Marty. Well, Dave Marcus looks like he will continue the streak. Alan, Dave, looks like you've qualified fast enough at least to make the field no matter what happens Thursday. Well, I mean, I hope we have. It would be a great honor to be able to be in my 33rd Daytona 500, and my career began here in 1968, so it means an awful lot to me to be able to be in it. Uh, I hope the time is, stays reasonably close to where it's at, and that means that we'd be, be insured probably of getting in, uh, even if we had a problem in the 125-miler. All right, and Tony Stewart did talk to Dave about his wing tips, and he said, you know, that's going to be my retirement fund. I can auction those off, and I'll be just fine. <laughs> probably so. All right. 